again to George Ocean Golf Club here at the RLI Golf Academy with your PGA professional Ryan Ingram. Today what we're going to look at is a setup for a chip shot and the important part, our landing zone. If you don't already, follow my social media links below where you can find more content each week to help improve your game. If you like this video, give this video the thumbs up and subscribe, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content each week. Let's get started. So today the first thing we're going to look at is that landing zone. The most important part to figuring out how you can get that golf ball nice and close to the flag. So our landing zone is an area that where we're going to land the golf ball to and then we're going to choose the club accordingly to that landing zone for the amount of run that it's got to go to the flag. So when we are picking this landing zone what we are looking for is something that we know is going to react well so something that's going to bounce straight forward isn't going to bounce right isn't going to bounce left in some scenarios we can't help that but hopefully when you're looking at a putting green we can find some flat area that we can get a true bounce from that's going to bounce straight forward so we can pick that target either left or right of that flag depending on the severity of the slope we have on that green from these landing zones which I've got three landing zones here today we are going to choose a different golf club for each landing zone to get the best possible result for that landing zone so from here what I'm going to say is that we've got a low percentage and a high percentage risk of shot of getting that golf ball nice and close to the flag so when we are taking something high lofted here today we've got plenty of green to work with so it wouldn't be the first option I would have in mind here the first option would be something like a 7 iron 6 iron that we can get landing onto the surface pretty quick and then we can read it like a putt. Every time I teach people how to hit chip shots or around the green, choosing the shot selection, it's always worthwhile to get that golf ball landing on the putting surface straight away and then reading it like a putt. So I've got here a 54 degree wedge. So the first target we're gonna choose is that middle target and then I'm gonna show you the two opposites and what we can create here to get that golf ball nice and close to the flag. So I've picked my landing area, now what I'm going to do is make sure I've got the correct feeling of, of length of stroke that I'm going to create to get that golf ball landing to my new landing zone, the target. Therefore, if we've chosen the right golf club, it will then run out to the target. So I'm going through my practice swings. Next thing I want to do is set up the correct chip shot is that I want the golf ball in the middle of my stance. We're going to favour this weight to the left hand side. The handle, depending on the severity of your shot, how much you want it to roll, whether it goes forward for more roll, back for less roll. So that will depend on your landing zone. But we can also then choose a low lofted club or a high lofted club to then compensate for that also. So today I'm just going to have that in the middle, pointing towards my belly button. Weight's going to be left. I'm going to grip down on this handle a little bit. This is going to give us a little bit more control over that club head. From here, I'm going to rock the shoulders back and through, making that strike on that golf ball towards my target, my landing zone. So I've hit my landing zone there, and you can see it's starting to run round towards the flag. Good distance there. So let me go through now and play a 50 8 degree I've got here and this is going to be the landing zone closest to the flag because we've got more loft on the club this golf ball isn't going to run as much as that 54 degree would so again same setup ball position in the middle weight favouring that left hand side handle somewhat in the middle I'm going to feel them practice strokes we're getting that golf ball towards that landing zone I'm going to execute the shot on my landing zone you can see there it's matched up some degree to my last golf ball because it didn't run out as much. The last one and the one that I would choose in this scenario because we've got loads of green to work with would be the golf ball that's going to land on the green the quickest. So therefore because we've got a lot of green to work with, a lot of, that golf ball's got to run a lot, we're going to use a low lofted golf club. So same setup, ball in the middle, favouring that way at left and again I'm just going to feel how far I've got to take this club back to get that golf ball landing on that landing zone. So 
from here rock the shoulders straight back straight through and watch that golf ball run out towards that target hit a few books on the way there the other landing zones but that would have got nice and close to the target there so three different options for the same outcome the low percentage shot would be the seven iron get that golf ball on the putting surface and get it running like a putt as quick as possible the high percentage shot would be that 58 degree wedge where you've got to land that golf ball accurately to your target zone three quarters of the way there to get that golf ball nice and close hope this has helped you guys Give this a go the next time you're practicing. Maybe choose a different golf club. Find out where your parameters are and you'll get that golf ball nice and close to the flag the next time you're playing. If you don't know already, follow my social media links below where you can find more content each week to help improve your game. Bye for now.